Hello there, this is part 5 of our training series and uh, so I've already baked the amid occlusion and the cavity map. Uh, if you're not sure how to bake the things, uh, because I've not shown you how to bake the amid occlusion, but I've showed you how to bake the cavity map, which is the same process. You just select uh, the, the image you want to bake to and then make sure you're using cycles and uh, under bake, you can switch from amid from uh, cavity, from diffuse, which we baked last time and change it to uh, amid occlusion and then hit back uh, again if you are finding this a bit confusing you can go and uh, you can go to youtube and search top channel one on one amid occlusion baking or cavity map baking or no more baking whatever map you want to uh, to bake i've already made a story for that and i'm not going to repeat it uh here so let's go back uh, to ev and uh and start texturing so the first thing we want to do is uh create a template for our uh, for scratches and then these um, uh, erosions that you see here. So we're just going to create uh, templates for different masks we are going to be using uh, for different materials or different shaders. So let's first create a mask uh, for these scratches and maybe these uh, worn out areas. So let me use uh, this table as, let me focus on the table first. And uh, I'm just going to create a new material. Let me just remove this, create a new material. I'll call this template uh, scratches. Remember we have already baked our ambient occlusion, sorry, our cavity map. So I'm just going to import it into Blender here. So shift A, image texture, then find that. Uh, so I think it's under furniture. Now, if I preview this, you can see how that looks. Yeah, but uh, uh, the mask is not bright enough to create uh, the kind of mask we, it doesn't have enough contrast uh, to create the mask we want. So I'm just going to add a color ramp, convert color ramp here. Let me turn on my keys so, so that I can get that contrast that I want. Now you can see we can use this to mask out or to create worn out areas. And, uh, if I want to add more detail uh, to this, I can just add a convert, a convert uh, math node uh, between the color ramp, after the color ramp, and change the operation to either greater than, or I can try out different uh, settings. Then you just play with this value here and see what you get. See what we're getting. So th this just gives us a more pronounced uh, mask uh, that we can use uh, to create these worn out areas. But uh, you can see the worn out areas are known, it's not a continuous uh, area, uh, they break up in different areas. So what we can do, we can use a texture here, another texture to break out uh, this straight line because you, you, do, you wouldn't get uh, this, it wouldn't be as smooth, as smooth as this right now. So uh, we can add a texture mask, let's use mask relevancy. You can preview this node by holding down control shift and then clicking the node to preview this node. And uh, we can use this to break up uh, this mask. So if I duplicate this, connect, connect the greater than uh, to this, let me preview this node. This is what we have. And uh, playing with this value here, we can control that. But instead of using this value here, we can use uh, the mask grip mask uh, texture we have used, we have created to be our mask like that. And then we'll just have to change uh, the operation here or let's try inverting our mask grave and see how that looks. You can see now it's break, it's, it is breaking up uh, that, but uh, the scale is a bit too high so I can just play around with the scale just a bit. can see what we are getting. Let me preview uh, the node just to see what's going on. You're not limited to the greater than operation. You can play around with other operations and see what results you get. So this is uh, the power and uh, not really giving us that much I 
and uh, you can also add more, more control by adding a car ramp around here between uh, this and play around with that so i think for the power map for the power node we might need to invert this flip this again and to get the results we want so you have to op uh, to play around with different operations i think the power map is not uh, the power operation is not giving us the results we want let's try subtract and see what we could get here so our intention was to try and break up uh, those lines there so you can always come back to these something like that or you can also change the operation for this to something else let's try power to get different results so it's a matter of just knowing what not to pull and uh, getting uh, the results you want we can always come back and adjust uh, this but uh, yeah that's our first mask and the thing about this is that uh, we can use this template for other objects and uh, it should work correctly so this uh, this here can also use the same material so if i preview this now if i preview this table instead i give it uh, the same scratch material you can see it get it is getting that treatment the same treatment let's change this back to greater than yes so Again, most of it is just going to be about playing around with the different settings and uh, seeing what you get after everything. So we can even uh, group this into its own frame and uh, can rename these uh, to scratches uh, scratches and uh, say you want uh, this black area to be blue and uh, the, the worn out area to be red you can just add a color mix RGB have this as the factor now if we preview this node now we can change we can set what we want like that So in part two, we'll continue from there and see how uh, things go.